Hello and welcome to the Mizzou Balsa Bridge Design Competition. My name is Hani Salim. I'm a professor of civil engineering at the University of Missouri. In this video, I will describe for you how to download the software and how to use it for designing different bridge alternatives that will help you select the final design which you will use for constructing your model bridge for the competition. After you download the rules from the website, you will be able to scroll. Please scroll to page 3. At the bottom of page 3, you will see a link that takes you to the website where you can download the software. After you click this link and install the software on your computer, you will be able to see on your programs list there are two versions of it have been installed on your computer. Please run the one where it says for older computers. This one, for older computers. This seems to work best with a lot of computers. After you run it, the software will open up. There's nothing to do here. Create a new bridge design. That's correct. So you say OK. And then there are information provided here about the span currently selected and the height above the water. 44 meters is not what we want. We want 36 meters which will translate to 36 inches for the scaled model. We'll show you in the next two slides how to do that. So you click next, there's nothing to do in this slide. And here also there's nothing to do, you click next. This is where you need to change the elevation of the deck above the water to be able to change the 44 meters to be 36 meters. Right here it says deck elevation 24 meters Please change that to say 16 meters. Once again, change this to say 16 meters. Once you do that and you click to the next step, you will be actually able to construct your bridge to be a span of 36 meters. So here we say next, which is what you need. Once you are at this point, once finish appears, you don't have to keep clicking next, you can just click finish because there is nothing else you need to change. So the only thing we needed to change is the deck elevation to be 16 meters above water. So click finish, that will bring you to this page where you can start constructing your bridge. Important parts of your bridge, your truss bridge is made up from joints and members. This toolkit here shows you how to construct joints and how to construct members. So circles are joints, this here is your members tool. This last one here is to erase members or joints that you don't need if you want to change your design. And this one here is to select and unselect things. Starting with the joints, as you will see in the other video that we posted, we described briefly bridge design. Truss bridges are made up from joints and members. And to support your floor, and here is your floor, the computer software already have this floor selected for you and below the floor are joints these joints are already also selected for you that you cannot delete they must stay these joints represent locations for the floor beams so the floor beams are running below the floor to support the floor these joints where the at the location of the floor beams have to be connected to joints above which are going to be your truss once again we're going to use this tool to create um, joints and if you look here the first joint which is represented by a floor beam is location zero zero if you look at the left that the zero height if you look at the bottom that's the zero x distance if you go all the way to the other end this joint here is located at 36 meters which represents 36 inches for the scaled model uh, so that is what we need so that that's not the case you need to go back and restart designing your bridge to make sure you have 36 meters or inches for your bridge. Start creating joints. This circle here selected. I start my first joint at right above the first floor beam and drop it at this location. My next one, I'm going to make it, make it at this point. Third one at this point. Fourth one, raise it a little higher. Fifth one, now I'm going to be symmetric. So these two points, for symmetry, I'm going to have them to be at the same elevation. The next joint is going to be the same elevation as the one on the left. The 
third one same elevation as the one on the left this one here same elevation as the one on the left so with that i have created hopefully enough joints to support my truss i'm going to go to creating members by just dragging it between joints and you must have members connecting the floor beam joints at the bottom also so we're going to go through this i'm going to try to speed this up connecting joints to create members and try to make sure things are symmetric so if this member was going this way maybe this member needs to go that way but that's all up to you so let's create all the vertical members first and then decide on how to and then connecting the floor beams joints through these members also and then maybe I'll make all these members go the same way. That's one option. I'm not saying this is the best or not. This is up to you. Maybe I'll create an X in here. And maybe I'll reverse these instead of going the same direction as I started. So here's my bridge. It's already constructed. The next thing, if you look closely in here, by the way, if this toolbar doesn't show up, you can find it in the drop down menu here. Here's the tool. Um, so if you look up here, there's icon in here. This is the one we're in, which is shows drawing. So you can use this to do the drawing or change the drawing. The one next to it is where you run the truck to make sure your bridge uh, will pass. And if you look on the right side, there are information about your bridge. And right up here, it tells you the cost of your bridge so far. This number here tells you the cost. So you can use this information to design uh, to decide on different alternatives in terms of their capacity once you're on the truck if they pass and also their cost will tell you something about how heavy your bridge is going to be which is important for you to, your competition so i'm going to click this icon to run the truck over the bridge it looks like oh my bridge is not designed well it was unable to support the load before even the truck went on it so i need to go back to the drawing board and change my design and let me actually go back and show you one more thing about this if you look closely at this there are some members appearing in red and some member appears in blue or very light blue almost white the members in red these are members in compression these are members generally for your design you have to make them a little bit bigger or else they're going to buckle when we run the test and in this case when we run the test on the computer so these are members in compression again watch the other video which describes members in tension and members in compression and the difference between them and how important it is to enforce your your members that are in compression by making them bigger or adding more joints so again my and the blue ones are in tension so they're not gonna uh, be that much important in terms of how big they are so if they are in blue they're going in tension as long as the joints are well designed once again as the truck moves on the bridge you will see some of these colors change from blue to red so that's important to keep track of that uh, again for your construction of your bridge we're going to go back to the drawing board because these members seems to be not well designed so i could select them and make them larger this icon in here will allow you to make the member larger if i click this few times you will see that the member is actually getting larger and I'm going to run the truck again, see if that worked. Maybe. It actually worked. I was hoping it will not work. As you can see, some of these members are getting really too red. These two, after I made them bigger, they're too, they're fine. But this guy went really red. And these two went very red. They almost buckled. So go back to the drawing board. Maybe we can do something else with these members. Maybe select this member again reduce it to make it fail and what I'm gonna do try to erase this member by adding another joint in here
I'm gonna pause the video. Welcome back. We're continuing recording. I had some issues erasing members, so I worked that out. So I erased those members to be able to add some additional joints that hopefully will allow me to reduce the length of that member that was buckling. So now I'm gonna add a member from here to there, another member from there to there, and one more from there to there and there to there. If you notice here, this is no longer a triangle. So I'm going to have to add some additional members to make sure all my joints are part of triangles. As you will see in my other design video that describes how all the joints has to be part of triangles. Let's see if this design will actually pass without having to increase the size of the members. Once again, if you look closely, these two members, these four members are going really red which means they're about to buckle. So maybe we need to make them bigger or possibly add additional joints, possibly add additional joints in here. This is called subdividing it. So maybe we'll select all these members and delete them and add other joints. Let me not do that. Maybe you can play with that. So again, you could add another joint in here and add another uh, additional members in here to create a subdivided truss. This is called subdivided truss. So if these members are too long and you're worried about them, you can add additional joints at this level. And this is one way you can actually create uh, more alternatives and more designs to play with. You don't have, your truss doesn't have to be only on the top. You could have an under truss if you want, if you like to that to do that design. It makes it a little harder for construction. But for example, I could add additional joints uh, to create a a truss below the deck level and I want to warn you if you are going to do that make sure you do not have members going all the way to the end so do not add members from there to there because when you come to set your bridge bridge during the competition you're not going to be able to set it on that so avoid having any members starting below the bridge starting at this point so that means I'm going to start my members only from here and continue doing that. Once again, you see this truss below the bridge starts only one joint in from both sides so we don't have anything and maybe we'll have them point this way and maybe another cross in here once again this not i'm in no way telling you this is the best design so this is one alternative you can add us an, an underside an under truss so this truss below the floor once again, make sure it does not start here. It starts one point in. Otherwise, you will not be able to test your bridge. Again, let's run the truck. Maybe that will improve the design. Aha. Uh -huh. As you can see, those members that were very red are not that red anymore because we made the truss a little bit stronger. Once again, in no way this is the best design. It's for you to explore different options and decide on what's the best. Once you're happy, once the whole team played with different alternatives and you as a team came together and decided on the final option or the final design that you're going to use for construction, the next step is to actually record all these dimensions. And the best way I found to do that, there are different views and different tools that you can get a print out of all the locations of these joints. If you can figure that out, that's great, but I'm going to give you the quickest and dirtiest way to do that. You go back to creating joints, which is the circle, and hover over every joint. And make sure, you, one thing you need, you should do is print this screen. Once you print that screen, go ahead and label these joints, joint one, joint two, three, four, five, six, whatever labels you wanna do, and then, or ABC, and then hover every, over every joint. For this joint, for example, you can read at the bottom and the left side of the screen, zero and zero, as an example, this joint is 0 and 4, actually 4 and 0, 4 in the X, 0 in the Y. This joint is 8 and 0. This go up to this point. This is 12 and 8. This joint is 20 and 9. So you record all these uh, coordinates of every joint in your truss. 
that's going to be the coordinates that you're going to use for constructing your bridge on the drafting paper. And I have some information provided in the second video that talks about how to use this information for constructing your your bridge using balsa once you have the final design. Once again, I did that by going to the joint and then hovering over every joint and reading the coordinates from the bottom and the left of the screen. Uh, let's pick one more. This one here is 28 in the X and 7 in the Y. And this concludes my video on the utilization of the software for designing different alternatives and selecting your final design, translating that to a scaled model. Uh, this here dimensions is 36 meters, which translates to every meter as one inch. So that translates to 36 inches. Good luck, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And make sure you watch the other video that describes the design steps in detail, in some detail, and the construction steps also. Thank you.